Hi, Rob Mason here again. We've got another one of our Melbourne 2019 RAW videos for you. This will be a short one. We're actually doing on the, uh, the dinner, which is on uh, the 27th of April, Saturday. Uh, a bit disappointed actually. Um, just had the Oscars and we didn't get any nominations for our first um, few videos. So we'll keep trying on the, uh, these next um, few. We've probably got about another half a dozen to come. Uh, but as I said, this one's on the uh, the dinner, which is on Saturday night. So you get dinner tickets uh, from the entry form. Uh, if you haven't got them, uh, you can go back to the email that you got when your entry was processed and you can go back in there and, and just sort of buy the tickets. But we thought to promote the dinner, uh, we'd do this uh, short video. So um, we're just going to show you, we've got a poster made up and we'll just sort of run through some of the details of that. Okay, here's our poster for the Athletes and Friends Dinner Party. Uh, so just some of the important details. It's Saturday the 27th of April. Um, we're starting with drinks down there from 5pm with our after match and the dinner will run through from 7 till 11pm. It's in a really nice spot at the uh, West Beach Pavilion, which is down there in St Kilda in Beaconsfield Parade. And you can actually get there on the number... 12 tram and it's about a 100 meter walk. Um, we'll go through the program a little bit more later on uh, but uh, the details are on there but I've got another poster with some of the details that we'll sort of cover off on. Uh, it's $55 a person and um, it's a pretty good deal when you think about it you've got to eat that night somewhere um, so you, for $55 you get a two course buffet dinner with canapes on arrival and of course you get all the entertainment and everything else that's sort of thrown in that we'll go into in a minute. So it is a great opportunity to catch up with your fellow Aussie athletes and friends. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned before, you can get the uh, tickets online at the uh, website with your entry or via the link on your email afterwards. So um, I'll run through a little bit more on the program and I'll give you a little bit more information on our special guest. Okay, so um, yeah, we're, we're sort of really uh, wanting to promote the dinner, so I thought, well, the best way to do that is to actually go through what's going to happen on the night, you know, people saying, okay, I'm going to come along, what's in store for me? As I mentioned, uh, right up the top there, we've got the, uh, the pre-dinner, 5 till 7, which is the day two after match, so the bar will be open up there, and at 7 o'clock, that's the end of the after match, and we swing into the, uh, the dinner, so at 7 o'clock we kick off with some canapes and then after a bit of housekeeping and seats for dinner we're in there at seven you know around about 7 30 um, this is where we've got some bit of innovation we've got a special audio visual uh, AMA our League of Heroes and that'll be followed by introducing our special guest for the evening and I'm pleased to announce that that will be Ralph DeBell uh, Australian 800 metre gold medalist from the Mexico uh, Olympics back there in 1968 and uh, our last um, male uh, track gold medalist in fact. Then Greg Champion's uh, going to, to swing in, he's going to be the MC for the night. We'll hear from the AMA president Richard Blurton and then we'll move into the, uh, the buffet dinner. Uh, at the end of dinner there'll be a bit of a Q&A with Ralph and Greg Champion and we might even take a few uh, questions from the uh, the audience there and uh, after that we'll move into uh, the first bit of the AMA Awards. Um, we've got that being presented by Stan Perkins. Then uh, Greg Champion will um, give us uh, a bit of entertainment. He's from the Could Have Been Champions, a local Melbourne media identity. And then after that we'll all be, uh, we'll be super, feeling super good so we'll get a bit more sugar in the system, we move into dessert again, we'll just do that sort of table by table. There'll be another short uh, audio visual entertainment there on the World Championships, looking ahead to 2020 and maybe looking back to Malaga. We then sort of finish the main part of the evening um, briefly with the Hall of Fame presentations and then the one that I'm looking forward to is the Pass the Baton um, where we'll be passing the baton from Victoria to Queensland for next year's nationals. So I'll be 
passing that on to Tony Ferguson. Uh, you better watch out, Tony. It's a, it's a pretty hot baton I'm <laughs> getting to find out. Before you go, we'll have a, a lucky ticket prize draw. Uh, everyone gets a sort of a souvenir program. It'll be numbered, and if your number comes up, hopefully you'll walk away with a pretty good bottle of wine. 10.30, the bars close. I mean, uh, fair enough, I guess. We've got to compete the next day, and then the, the evening uh, will be concluded. So... If you've been to some other dinners, you can see we've, you know, we've got a little bit of innovation, some new ideas here, and it's something that you'll um, really enjoy. So just before we close out this uh, video, I'm just going to cover a little bit more on Ralph DeBell in another little segment. So just get ready for that one. Okay, a final little bit on this uh, segment on the dinner is um, last year it was actually 50 years since Ralph DeBell uh, had these outstanding achievement in Mexico um, where he won the gold medal back there in the 800 metres in 1968. So to mark the occasion, um, a former journalist and local author, Michael Sharp, um, was right on the money because he had the idea of coming up with uh, a book to uh, write about Ralph's achievements. And there'll be an opportunity to um, pick up a copy of this book, you know, when Ralph's down here. He'll also be along at our first aftermatch on the Friday night. And um, I'm sure with Ralph coming along, he'll be our special guest on the evening. Um, this is going to make the dinner, you know, to me, extraordinary. This is not something that you can get along to every day. So as I said before, um, for your $55, you're getting, you know, uh, a good meal, you're getting some entertainment. But this is, to me, this is like one of these one-off events, you know, were you there you know, the night that Ralph was a special guest at the uh, Melbourne uh, uh, National Championships dinner. And um, I'd certainly recommend this book. I've, I've had a bit of a look inside and there's some good things and uh, there's some, you know, really uh, great memories I'm sure that will come back on the evening and we'll sort of find out a little bit about that um, when, when Ralph's here. So... Um, there will be an opportunity to obviously, you know, get to meet Ralph and to pick up a copy of the book. And to me, this is just what make, will make this evening that extra bit special. So, as I said before, I'm, here I am, I'm the super salesman. If you haven't uh, picked up a ticket um, and you've already put your entry and you're thinking, gee, I'd, you'd really like to get along, uh, well, it's not too late. Just click on that link, get back in there and uh, click on the box for the dinner. Pick a couple of tickets up and, um, you know, we hope to see you there. Um, we've got a, a limit of about, around about 200, 220 that we can fit into the venue. And once all the tickets are gone, that's it. So uh, we're hoping to fill it up and, like I said before, make it an evening to remember.